To me, there's nothing worse than waking up bleary-eyed on a Monday morning, stumbling to the espresso machine, pulling your first shot for the week, only to have the coffee slapped you in the face with a harsh bitterness. It's already Monday, you don't have to do that to me. Thankfully, this is a rarity for me these days, so let's skip the learning curve and understand what goes into pulling a great shot of espresso. Let's start with the coffee. If you can grind your coffee fresh, you'll make your chances of pulling a great shot much easier. You also want to use fresh coffee that's had a chance to degas, roughly from about one week through to one month past the roast date. Make sure your espresso machine is on and had a good chance to warm up. If you pull out your portafilter and it's warm to the touch, you're probably ready to go. Next, we're going to rinse the shower screen. If we make a habit of doing this every time we pull the portafilter out, we're going to go a long way towards keeping our machine clean. If your group head gets dirty, then you're going to be pulling old, rancid coffee in with your fresh grounds and it will definitely lead to some bitterness in the cup. Now if you just turned your machine on for the morning, then your portafilter should be empty and clean already, but we're going to give it a wipe with a dry cloth to make sure there's no moisture in the basket. We're now ready to grind the coffee into our portafilter. On this grinder, the coffee falls into the hopper and from there we dose it out into the portafilter. We just want to grind the amount of coffee we need and limit the amount of leftover grounds. We also want to come up with a routine so that we have the same amount of coffee in the portafilter every time. Personally, I use scales to weigh the amount of coffee and make sure it's exactly the same every time. If you don't have a set of scales or don't want to weigh your dose, the next best bet would be to grab something like your finger or the flat side of a knife and scrape across the portafilter basket to level out the amount of coffee. The consistency regarding your dose has a massive impact on the way your shot extracts, so I'd definitely consider getting some scales if you want consistently great coffee at home. Before we tamp our coffee, we're going to do some distribution. We basically want to even out the grounds to help our coffee extract evenly through the puck. The easiest way to do this without any additional equipment or tools is a palm tap. Hold your portafilter nice and level and tap the side of the portafilter with your hand. If you notice that one part of the puck is higher than the other, you can tilt your portafilter in the opposite direction before you tap to encourage the coffee to move in that direction. You can do it coffee, I believe in you! Okay, so now we're ready to tamp the coffee. The main goal of this is to keep our tamp nice and flat so we get an even espresso puck for the water to run through. This can be hard when it's Monday morning and your eyes are barely open, but trust me, we're almost there. The easiest way to keep your tamp nice and level is to make sure your forearm is directly over the top of your tamp. Use your thumb and index finger to feel your tamper in relation to the basket and correct it if things don't feel level. Then push down until you can't feel the coffee collapsing any further. And that's it. Wipe over the top of the basket with your hands and we're ready to extract. This basket I'm using here is a double shot basket and it holds 20 grams of coffee. We want our espresso to be double the volume of this, so 40 grams out. Some machines will have a double shot button which you can just press. You can also weigh the espresso in your cup when it's finished to get an idea of how full your cup looks when you have the right amount. If you have a shot glass, you can also use this to measure. 40 grams is equal to 40 mils. The industry just usually prefers to weigh coffee as different coffees can have different amounts of crema depending on age, roast depth, and a lot of other variables. So how do we know if our coffee will taste balanced and sweet instead of dry and bitter or sharp and sour? If you've followed all the steps so far, the last thing you need to do is time your espresso extraction. We count this from the moment you pull the lever or push the button to start the extraction through to when you stopped it. A great starting point is to aim for between 26 and 32 seconds. If your shot runs faster than 26 seconds, adjust your grinder a little bit finer to slow down the shot. If your shot is slower than 32 seconds, adjust your grinder a little bit coarser to speed up the shot. And if your shot's running in that sweet spot, you've got great fresh coffee and you've followed the above tips for an even flow through the puck, you should be drinking a tasty, balanced shot of espresso. Make sure you stir your espresso with a spoon before drinking. Now this is episode two of my home espresso masterclass. If you're new to coffee at home, you might wanna start from the beginning, or if you're already following the series along, you're ready for the next episode, where I'm going to dive deeper into adjusting the grind for that perfect extraction. If you have any questions, meet me in the comments below and I'll be sure to help you out. Keep frothing.